Good morning, plumbers. Good morning, YouTube. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training my two sons, the trade. Who are obviously not here today on a Saturday. If you haven't subscribed, please consider please consider subscribing. Follow this journey as I train my two sons to train. It's gonna be a long journey, but well worth it because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. And for today's adventure, we have a 50 gallon power vent Bradford water heater that is running out of water, shutting down, and sounds like a classic filter clog. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and clean the heater and make sure everything's working properly. We'll see when we get there. Okay, here's the situation. The plan's kind of changed. They have a hot tub that's not filling up. Or check that. A hot tub that's running out of water. Just found this 75 gallon beast in the garage. I'm gonna guess that this is for the hot tub. And we're gonna make sure because he's up running the tub right now. And this pipe, this should get hot. And I could be wrong. Hmm, I think I am wrong. Now I'm thinking that this heater, this beast, takes care of the whole house and the 50 gallon takes care of the hot tub alone. That could be the situation. Let's go find out. Okay, we figured out that this is the hot tub water heater. I'm looking for the switch. The motor's kind of winding a little bit. As you see, look at all the dust. Okay. So, we're going to clean this up with the vacuum. And we're going to give this a good cleaning. Yeah, a lot of dust in here. Wow. As you see, look at this dust. Okay. How do you like my new toy? Boop. I got my new little shop back. Old, old Milwaukee. <laughs> Proof water heater here that has a ceramic or a filter on the bottom of the tank. So this needs fresh air to operate, and if it doesn't have enough fresh air, it will shut down. Let's take it apart and see what we got. Shut the water heater off. Power's off. Now we get to take off the door and I will show you the filter. Let me see here. Let's see what I got here. Ah, yes. Okay. One screw. Let's unsnap 
this. Let's undo. Spark ignition. Boop. All right, this way. I don't ruin nothing here. Now we're clear, Sion. We'll take off the main burner. Adjustables outside. I'll get that in a minute. But we can't wait for that. So we're going to take a little thermal pilot. We're going to take off the pilot. And we're going to pull this whole burner assembly. What we can do here. Now, this pan might make it a little hard. Gasket looks in really good shape. This is the filter inside this whole screen unit. So I'll get my compressor. We're on the second floor, so I got a little bit of work to do here. I'm going to set it up and drop the hose out the window. outside I am going to clean the filter inside with compressed air all while sucking running the vacuum in there at the same time to help eliminate the dust overflow that's the plan I will be masked up like <laughs>
hard to get the shots. Run the vacuum and the compressor at the same time. So, but you get the drift. You really gotta clean this grate really good and all around the heater. I'm sure this is clogged up with dust. As you can see, there's dust everywhere, okay? And that's the plan. Do it as best you can and you will get plenty of fresh air for your next hot shower. And this is my homemade my homemade water heater cleaner. And I'm running 100 PSI through this, just so you know. a wrestling match of putting this back in there's a little flat slot this must go back in a little bit of a wrestling match a little bit of luck oh here we go oh I'm in all right that was beautiful now Everything's got to go back in perfect here. And, oh, just came out. Hmm. Right. Here's the trick. Got to get in here. It's in. And then getting the burner assemble. The gas burner hooked up on the main gas here. Because it has to drop a little bit here. Right here. This is the tight spot right here. Alright. And that's got to go in like, oh, come on now. Be good to daddy right here. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. Boop. There it went. I'm in the bracket. Let's get there. Main burner hooked up. Goes in real easy. Do not cross thread it. You'll replace in the gas valve because this is made of aluminum. And then this is the pilot tube. Don't cross that. Do not cross thread that either because you'll be buying a new gas valve. <laughs> Let's tighten everything back up. I got my proper wrenches today. Lee, you'll be proud of me. I even have a vacuum cleaner, Lee. And I want to give a special shout out to a couple big time subs. My man, James Brown. Always keeps me smiling. And big fan of Stevie Lav. Oh, I should have called him today. 
Oh, today was the day. Oh, next time. Maybe I'll call me after the job. Maybe I'll do that. I like the sounds of that. We'll get this thing running here. And I'm plugging everything back into where it goes. Bang, bang, bang. And there it is. Am I missing something here? Oh, there it is. How about the main burner control and the fan? There we go. Alright, we're all hooked back up. Let's get our screws back in here. So, these here's got to be cleaned. I'd say every six months. Especially if you're in a high dust area, such as a laundry room, or lots of pets. Lots of pets and dog hair and cat hair. Definitely, if you start having problems, this could be one of them. One of the reasons your filter is clogged. All right, and let's get this last screw over here. Let's get this last one in. fire it back up. Let's make sure everything's tight up here. Boom. Nice and tight. Our pilot tube. Nice and tight. And we're ready. We're ready for ignition. We got a line pump going here. There's the pump. Let's turn the heater back on. And you guys, you all know my favorite shot right here. Oh, look at that. I made it just in time. Now, I can't see the flame, but that is it. And you gotta love when she fires right up. I just need to look in the hole. So we'll get the shot. And there it is. We got hot water. And the final step of our journey, put the door back. Always check your gas connections. I smell gas, and sure enough, we got a little leaker. And to check this leak, the heater's got to be running. So right now, it's not leaking or even getting any gas once it fires up. Alright, we tightened her up nice. No more leak. sure <laughs> but this heater might be tied into the other one we got no idea but this is a regular open chamber combustion water heater but we're not cleaning this one 
and now it's running, which makes me think that this could be part of the two heaters tied together. I don't know how they piped it. Who knows? Anyway, I think I'm playing hot water now. Well, that was that that was interesting. When I first got there, I had the gentleman put the hot tub on because I found a 75 gallon in the garage, which we all know that generally you hook the 75 gallon to the hot tub because of the sheer volume of hot water you need. So when he ran the tub, no hot water came up, you know, the hot side of the pipe. So then I ran upstairs, found the other water heater, which I came to originally clean, that was running. Hot water coming out, definitely the one. So we cleaned the heater, and of course the motor's tired on the second floor 50 gallon power vent. That motor is starting to whine a little bit. Long story short, I'm cleaning up my mess and I go downstairs and I show you guys the oh, the regular burner with the open, not a vapor proof chamber. I find the gas leak, fix that. Now I'm cleaning up. I have him run the hot tub. Now the now the 75 gallon water heater's on. So now, now we're confused. Could they be tied together side by side, but on different floors? Or it could be a coincidence that he did run the kitchen sink for a split second. Before we upgrade any heaters, which they're all, they're both 10 years old, we will make sure what's what. I didn't do the job originally, so I don't know what they did, but we know we can all figure it out because who don't love plumbing? That's what we do, we figure things out. And there goes another satisfied customer. Have a great weekend.